walking Kenny Lofton to lead off the game, then walking Omar Vizquel, then Carlos Baerga. 12 of his first 13 pitches are balls, and then he settles down. Bases loaded, no outs. Gets Albert Bell to go to his room, then the next batter, Eddie Murray, the pop up in foul ground. Mike Blowers calls everybody off and makes a squeeze. Two outs. Next batter then would be Jim Tomei. And thankfully for Walcott, Joey Cora is into leather, makes the stab, throws him out. Walcott with a Houdini like escape in the first no runs. Bottom of two now, no score. Mike Blowers off of Martinez. Dial nine, long distance. Kenny Lofton goes up, ball comes down, two nothing M's after two innings. Top of three now. Two men on, one out. Jim Tomei is back with the handsome socks. And that is a base knock to center field. Here comes Bayerga. He gets in. Now it's two to one Mariners. Still in the third with the bases juiced. Paul Sorrento with a major chance to break it open. But he hits into the 6-3 inning ender. Heartbreak. Top of six now. Lofton on third. Walcott facing Vizquel. Right back at you. Another opportunity for Cleveland. Not capitalized upon. We're through six. Indians finally would get to the rookie in the seventh. And who else to do it? Albert Bell ding ding deep center field second one of the playoffs now we're tied at two and so we go to the bottom of seven Luis Soho and he has gone shopping at the gap picks himself up a raincoat remember this is Seattle now it's three to two M's and so we go to top of nine Norm Charlton is on that is usually good news for the Mariners takes on Bayerga gets some swinging with the breaking pitch then Albert Bell gets him can't hold up in the dirt and then Eddie Murray harmless ground ball to Soho a little bobble but he picks it up stays with it and that is the ball game Mariners on an incredible roll carrying now through two series three to the final Bob Walcott who began this season in double a port city allows just two runs through seven in just his eighth major league appearance here's we're going indoors game two the big O versus Tino Martinez. You got to swing the bat, everybody. Top of the second. One man on. Paul Sorrento grounds the first. Luis Soho bobble me, but completes the double play. No score after two. Way to stay with it. Top of the third. Joey Cora and his ritual. And then Kenny Lofton. Oh, check out Joey. The only other guy in the majors that makes this play, of course, is the fundamentally sound Chuck Knobloch. Great defense by Joey. More D. Top of the fourth. Eddie Murray lines one to center. But this is Griff just being Griff. The catch and slide. Still more D. Bottom of the fourth. Jay Buhner hits. Omar Vizquel. Glove. Exciting and new. Indians GM John Hart. Hey, watch the game, John. Still no score. Top of the fifth. One man on Sorrento. Grounds into a potential double play. But Luis Soho bobbles it again and can't complete the double play. Still in the fifth, Tim Belcher needs to get out of a bases loaded jam. Carlos Baerga, up the middle. Sorrento and Lofton score, Indians take a 2-0 lead. And in the playoffs, that's enough for Oral. Before there was Red Dog, there was Bulldog. Gets Vince Coleman on the inside corner, then Mike Blowers outside corner. Hershiser, seven strikeouts, 74 of his 108 pitches were strikes. Indians up 2 on the six. Manny Ramirez takes Tim Belcher opposite way for a solo shot. First homer for Manny since September 6th. Three nothing Indians. Bottom of the six. Griffey. What do you think of that one? That's a solid spank. That is a solid spank. Goodbye baseball. Four to one Indians. But Oral would receive more solid D. Vizquel. Bare hands of Soho Chopper. Throws him out. Second great play of the night for Omar. And then Bobby Ayala serves up the second home run of the night by Manny Ramirez. The Indians win as they head back to Cleveland. Oral Hershiser scatters four hits over eight innings for his second win of this year's playoffs. Oral is... Smoke for Carlos Baerga. Then Manny Ramirez, he gets some smoke chasing the high heat. Johnson more than just the fastball. Dan Wilson, the catcher, wants the slider. Alvaro Espinosa cannot handle it. Six strikeouts for the big unit. Charles Nagy on the hill for the Tribe. Here it comes. There it goes. Jay Buhner jumps on the hanging breaking ball. 
and it's one nothing Seattle Buner's second homer of the series to the top of the third still one nothing Griffey on at first takes off for second bad throw by Sandy Alomar in a center field so junior goes all the way to third base Nagy trying to get out of the jam now Edgar Martinez looking for a hit broken bat grounder sawed off Espinosa boots it two errors in the inning Griffey scores two nothing Seattle Espinosa in the lineup because regular third baseman Jim Tomey hits left handed Indians get to Johnson in the fourth it's a little guy Kenny Lofton with a drive deep to left Vince Coleman can't get there over his head Lofton he can run easily into third with a triple would later score on a sack fly making it a two to one game then Nagy just like the big unit can strike people out gets Griffey on the check swing freezes Edgar Martinez and then Tino goes down on the breaking ball six strikeouts for Nagy bottom eight still a 2 1 game Espinosa to the opposite field Jay Buhner I got it I got it I got it I ain't got it blows it the error Espinosa on its second as the defense breaks down error is very important in this game to Johnson trying to hang on to the one run lead once again it's the little man Lofton through the infield RBI single pinch runner Wayne Kirby scores we are tied at two and Buner knows he cost his team bottom nine Lou Pinella has to remove his ace Johnson threw a hundred pitches yes pulling the plug on the big unit Norm Charlton comes in allows two men to get on then gets out of the jam as Sandy Alomar grounds to third so we remain tied at two. Then a little defense bottom of the tenth Jim Tomey pops up Doug Strange oh gorgeous hand behind his back and he still holds on and then in the eleventh Buner making up for that mistake sends it high and deep and aloha off Eric Plunk three run shot Mike Hargrove can't believe his eyes five to the final as the Mariners take control of the series they lead it now two games to Games to the one trying to pick it up in Bell's absence. What's worse, Slider, the mascot, fell off the bullpen. He's day to day at this time. That's Vince Coleman leading off, pop up down the left field line. Omar Vizquel in foul territory, makes the grab, and that fan gets to take Omar home. That's a nice souvenir. Bottom of one, Eddie Murray is batting cleanup because of Albert Bell's absence. That is a brilliant idea. Crushes the 2 1 1 slider off of Andy Bennis, right center field, and gone. Seventh career postseason home run, 3 0 tribe. That's Tony Pena. He's playing for the injured Sandy Alomar. Another brilliant idea. The next batter after him, Wayne Kirby, grounded a third. Blowers has to move to his left to field it. Pena sees that, that he's out of position. He goes for third, makes it with the hook slide. Now it's 4 0 tribe. We go to the third. Edgar Martinez up with runners in scoring position. He's going to hit the ground ball towards second. Baerga with the bobble. But Martinez still gets thrown out and here's why look at the replay kind of dogging it up the line until he notices the bobble that's not the way we run the bases in the big leagues bottom of three Jim Tomei off of Bennis again opposite field this time two run shot six nothing tribe and poor slider could have a crucian we'll get back to him top of four Ken Hill facing Blowers with men aboard that's a changeup. gets him to go to his room then Luis Soho with the heater. Hill changing speeds all over the place. Soho doesn't like the call. And yes, the bad news is confirmed. Not only a cruciate, but an MCL as well for Slider. No. Yes, he'll have to go to mascot rehab, maybe group therapy with UP. Point zero five. Top of the first facing Edgar Martinez. And Kenny Lofton gets that one. Bottom of the first, Chris Bosio, hard hit throughout the postseason facing Omar Vizquel. Vizquel, the weak grounder goes right through Tino Martinez's legs. Would that error be a costly one? Two batters later now, Basio facing Albert Bell, and Bell strikes out, but Vizquel steals third. Two outs, Eddie Murray makes the Mariners pay. Murray three for three in this game. Vizquel scores to make it one nothing Cleveland. Hershiser keeping cool on a very cold night in Cleveland. Top of the third, one on one out. Hershiser facing Edgar Martinez, gets him, and then Joey Cora Steals second on him. Next batter, Junior Griffey. Griffey against Hershiser, the opposite way. The double would score core. We are tied at one. Now, Albert Bell was in left, battling some wind. Top of the fifth, two outs, a man on. Hershiser getting Ken Griffey Jr. to pop to Albert Bell. Bell would take his eye off the ball for some reason with two outs and then loses it. 
Joey Cora scores from first. 2-1 Seattle. Hershiser can't believe it. It's the first time he's trailed in the postseason. Bottom of the six. Murray on second. And this baby looks due. And Dr. Jim Tomey delivers a two-run home run off Chris Bosio. Was he left in a pitch too long? 3-2 Indians. And that was all for Chris Bosio. Top of the seven, seventh. Sorrento's two errors have the Indians in trouble. Paul Ossenmacher facing Griffey and gets Ken swinging. Ken Sr. can't batter. Look, next batter, Jay Buhner. Would Asenmacher come up big again? You bet he does. Indians get out of the jam. Top of the eighth, three, two, tribe, two on for Seattle. Eric Plunk facing Luis Soho. And Soho lines it right to the former Mariner Vizquel. The easy double play. Tough break for the Ams. And in the ninth, Jose Mesa facing Edgar Martinez with a final out. And Martinez lines one for the final out. The Indians, now one victory had to shave it down for the unit. The first batter he would face, Kenny Lofton, and he almost has a half an inch of his head shaved down. A few pitches later, Johnson hits Pader with the fastball, gets Lofton looking. We go to top of two now. Johnson against Alvaro Espinosa gives it a ride to left. Could be, possibly, but indeed just a bit outside. Johnson gets another chance at him, and Alvaro goes right to his room. His counterpart, Dennis Martinez, likewise on his game, Jay Buhner, roomward. Dennis with three Ks, just one walk, top of five. M's get the leather now. Joey Cora leaping to rob Carlos Baerga, a very important out because the next batter with two outs, Espinosa grounding towards Cora. The throw a bit outside on Johnson, so Espinosa goes to second. The next batter after that, Kenny Lofton, he would send a base knock opposite field. Here comes Espinosa. Here comes the throw from Coleman. The throw is not in time, so one run scores could have been two, though, if not for Cora's previous leather. The next batter again, Vizquel. He drives one to left. Coleman, you know he's got the speed, and he tracks it down with the backhanded leather, saves a run on that play, and so we go to bottom of six. one nothing Indians. There's Coleman on second. Junior gives it a ride, but he gives it a ride to the deepest part of the park. Lofton backs up and squeezes, so with runners on second and third, two out. Martinez gets Martinez. Dennis against Tino. Now we go to the eighth. One nothing Indians. Nobody out. Ruben Amaro on second. Lofton. We've talked about his speed. You got that speed. Why not bunt? Johnson, you know, doesn't move well off the mound. Gets to the ball late. Not in time. Now Lofton goes to second on a steal. Dan Wilson cannot handle that pitch. Here comes Amaro going to score. And here comes. Ke hey, Kenny Lofton's going to score. Nobody pays attention to him. Two run score on the pass ball. The next batter after that. Bayerga seals it. The rare Randy Johnson mistake. Home run to center field, 4-0 Indians there, and that would be that for the unit. Lou makes the call, and Randy Johnson walks off the field to a rousing ovation, even in defeat. Here's how it ended. And the pitch. Swing and a bouncing ball at third, grabbed by Espinosa. The long score across. The game is over. The Indians win the pennant. How about that? Look at that display on the field. The Indians charging out on the field. They have won the American League pennant. You see the contrasting emotions in those two pictures. Indians a winner, four to love. They capture it, the American League title. Kenny Lofton reaches base 15 times in 28 plate appearances during the series. 